I'm obsessed! If this video gets to 10,000 likes, I'm literally gonna wear this out into my local supermarket. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, I am filming yet another celebrity fashion remakes. Basically, what I love to do is go in on AliExpress or other websites alike and trying to find some of the remakes of like super expensive outfits that celebrities like to wear. A lot of the time, these outfits could be like designer, they could be costing thousands of pounds. Whereas on AliExpress, you can find these remakes that look so close to the original, but for a fraction of the price. So if any of you guys have ever seen any of these outfit remakes and always wondered whether it's worth the money and what the quality is like, then this video is perfect for you. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out six different pieces that have been basically remade from celebrities' outfits. So together, we're gonna see whether these are worth the money and if they look anything like the original. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But anyways, I'm sure you guys wanna see what these celebrity remakes look like in real life. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, where do I even begin? Here is my little pile of all the different things we're gonna be trying out today. I think I wanna start off with this item right here, which I'm pretty sure is a dress I am very excited to try out. I have been eyeing up this dress, the real version, for ages, but I just can't justify the money because it is very expensive. The original dress in question is this one right here. It's from the brand called Wolf and & Badger and it's actually a very expensive dress. It's 195 pounds, which to me, I feel like it's not really the kind of money I wanna spend on a dress that I'll probably wear once or twice. But I do really, really love the design and it's actually a dress that I have seen Madison Beer wear to an Ellen show. There's many different variants of this dress. Some have like the little puffy sleeves, some are just the gloves alone. But the remake that I saw on AliExpress is basically the exact one that Madison Beer wore. So here is the dress. It's just a strapless bodycon dress. It's a very simple design of dress, which is again why I feel like I just could never justify the price that it is. I absolutely love the pattern of it. It's basically just a white fabric with tiny little love hearts all over it. And as you guys can see, this remake actually has pretty good shape to it. It's a little bit tricky to show you guys, but can you see how it kind of like tapers in and then it comes out at the hip? I feel like that will definitely give it a lot of shape and just make it a little bit more like fitted and bodycon. We then also have the matching gloves, which I feel like is the best part about this dress. It just feels so like bougie to have matching gloves with something. So this is what the gloves look like. I'm hoping these are gonna fit pretty well and they're not gonna like fall down the arm. So compared to the original, which was 195 pounds, this remake right here was only 10 pounds. Now don't get me wrong, I realize that the fabric quality is not gonna be anywhere near as good as the original, but the general look of it, it looks so similar. I am so excited that I found this remake for only 10 pounds. I just cannot wait to try it on. So let's see how it fits. Okay, so here is the dress. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. This is incredible. First of all, can we talk about the gloves? They are actually quite tight around the top, so I don't think we're gonna run into any trouble of them like falling down or anything. As for the dress, Oh my God, it literally looks so close to the original, I am sure. I mean, look at the shape of the dress. It fits so nicely. There's literally like no loose fabric anywhere. I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, you guys don't even understand. I just feel so like sophisticated wearing these. I think it's the gloves. Now the thing is, will I ever have an occasion <laughs> to wear a dress like this? Probably not, but still I'm gonna live out my fantasies of you know, just being able to dress like this every day. I have to say there is something about a dress that has matching gloves that just sells it to me. I don't know why this hasn't become a thing sooner, but I am so happy now that it is. So yeah, this is what it looks like from the front and from the back. Just FYI, I am wearing nude underwear underneath this because otherwise I feel like it actually would be quite see-through. Comparing this to the dress of Madison's, I mean, I can definitely see the differences in the fabric. This one is just way more like like stretchy and just a little bit looser. It looks like the bottom of her dress is a little bit more like rigid and structured almost. But apart from that, I mean, it's pretty much spot on. So I am very thoroughly impressed with this remake. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Moving on, the next celebrity remake is of this image right here, which as you guys 
guys can see is a bodysuit that Kylie Jenner has been wearing on her Instagram. I'm not too sure what the original value of this bodysuit is, but to be honest, anything that Kylie Jenner ever wears is usually pretty expensive. So when I found this, which is the complete remake of that bodysuit, I was like, well, I have to try it. This was only £9.75. It was literally under £10 and it looks like the pattern is very, very spot on. Oh my goodness. This is so similar to the original. Like it's slightly different looking at the placement of the pattern, but I mean, at a first glance, it's the same bodysuit. It's got a long sleeve, as you guys can see, and then it's got the claspy sort of crotch thing in the center. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would never wear it just on its own like Kylie would because it is very revealing on the bottom half, but it is a really cool bodysuit. Now, the fabric this is made out of is, you know, that general cheap fabric that most of the clothing on AliExpress are made out of. Don't get me wrong, it's stretchy and everything, but it's not like the best quality fabric ever. With that being said though, it does doesn't look like it will be see-through or anything, so hopefully this should be pretty good. I guess let's pop this on and see how similar this is to the original. Okay guys, so here is the bodysuit. Now, as I said, for obvious reasons, I'm not just gonna wear it on its own, so I just paired it with some little black cycling shorts and these black boots. I personally feel like the pattern is exactly the same, but the placement is slightly different. I'm looking at the photo of Kylie and I feel like this part here, which is below my chest, is actually supposed to be running a Cross. But apart from that, everything else is pretty much spot on. It's almost like the whole pattern should have just been lifted up slightly. I have to say, I actually really like the pattern. I didn't think I would because I'm never usually a fan of like really busy patterns, but I do think it's really, really fun. And I don't know, it's just really different, isn't it? Now on the scale of one to 10 of how close I think this is to the original, I would say this deserves a straight up 10. Everything is pretty much spot on apart from the placement. Moving on to the next remake, we have a dress that was actually worn by Kim Kardashian over on her Instagram and this is the image right here. She's basically wearing this super long maxi bodycon neutral toned dress. The main feature of the dress is the fact that it's kind of got like that exposed seaming on the front which is very very popular right now. So I found the remake and again this was so inexpensive. This dress was only £13.50 so I feel like that's a pretty good steal. Okay here it is. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks slightly blue. Is that just me? The actual fabric is supposed to be kind of like a neutral beige toned color, but it's very cool toned and almost like gray. That's just the first thing I noticed about it, but this is what the dress looks like. It's very, very simple. The fabric is very thin. It looks like it will be quite see-through as well. As you guys can see, the stitching is just like the photo. It's that orange color, which looks very contrasting against the fabric. I am a little bit disappointed that this dress isn't the color that it was in the photos because I mean, Look at it compared to the photo. It's just not the same. I suppose all there's left to do is to just try this on and see if it looks anything like Kim's. Okay, so here is the Kim K dress and I actually really like the fit of it, but it's just the color that's really irking me. So obviously the original was kind of like that sandy neutral kind of color, which I love. But this, now that I've got it on, it kind of gives me like undertones of lilac. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that color, but I was really expecting it to be like a neutral nude kind of vibe. So I'm a little bit disappointed on that front, but to be honest, there's nothing wrong with the dress. It fits very, very nicely. I'm just thinking of what kind of a occasions I could wear a dress like this too. Perhaps like an evening dinner on holiday or something like that. The dress is really thin and lightweight, but it actually is very nice and fitted to my body. This is what it looks like from the back. So I would say it's a very nicely fitted dress. And I definitely feel like the seams are pretty much exact to Kim Kardashian's dress. It's just the color. I just wish they actually made it the same color. So on the scale of one to 10, I think I'm gonna give this dress probably like a, eight. It's the color. It's the color. If it was the right color, it would have easily got a 10. Now moving on to the next three items. These are actually all worn by Kylie. I wasn't really planning on making like most of the outfits Kylie's outfits, but it just so happened that way. I feel like AliExpress always has loads of choices of remakes when it comes to Kylie's fashion, just not many other celebrities. So I hope you guys don't mind that too much. The next one we have is right here. And this item is a remake of this outfit right here, which as you guys can see, 
Kylie is wearing this really gorgeous kind of like play suit. It's very body hugging. It's quite revealing as well. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad. But I saw the remake and I just had to try it out. It just looks so cool. This is definitely very out of my comfort zone. It's not really the type of clothing I would ever wear out. But here it is. This is the outfit. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is very revealing. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to try this on. It's a little romper, I guess. Um, it's very like bodycon, very tight fitting. It has got modesty panels, which hopefully it should cover things. As you guys can see, it's got like this panel here and this panel here to kind of cover the chest. And then it's got this panel here to cover your front bits. It also wraps around the back to cover your butt. And then everything else is pretty much made of this sheer blue fabric that you can just see straight through. I mean, it's a very interesting outfit. Again, I don't really know what the original designer of this was, but I'm pretty sure it would have been expensive. I suppose let's pop this on and see how it looks on me. All right, guys, so here is the next one. I actually don't really know how to feel about this. It's not as bad as I thought it would be in terms of like modesty. I genuinely thought that everything would be out, but these panels here that cover you up are actually placed in a really good way. So as you guys can see, this is what I mean about the mesh panels. I mean, they are definitely very, very extra. Luckily, we do have these panels here that kind of like cover up all the right places because otherwise I would definitely get demonetized. The main area I'm a little bit concerned about is the chest area because it's got all these like little holes so you can literally just see a bra like straight through it. Luckily I'm wearing a nude bra so it's not that visible but I feel like if you were to wear this out you definitely would want to wear either like nipple covers or sticky cups otherwise it kind of just ruins the whole vibe of this outfit. But in general I would say this is actually spot on to the original of what Kylie was wearing. The color the pattern, the shape, everything about this is literally exactly the same. I'm very, very impressed at how well they've recreated this remake. So I feel like this definitely deserves a 10 again. We are literally on a roll here. Moving on to the next item, we actually have a top for this one. This top is actually based off of this one right here and it is so pretty. I've been looking for a top like this literally everywhere. I love the cutouts, I love the color, I just love everything about it. I've been wanting a top like this forever, but I just can't find one anywhere until I saw this. I feel like all these Kylie Jenner remakes is literally calling for another I turned into Kylie Jenner video soon. If you guys haven't seen those videos, I always have so much fun filming them. It's basically where I kind of like make myself look like Kylie Jenner for a whole week. I recreate her outfits. I do the kind of things that Kylie Jenner would do. And I have actually done that with loads of celebrities in the past. I've done Ariana Grande. I've done Gigi Hadid. It's a really fun ongoing series that I have on this channel. So I'll have it linked in the eye if you haven't seen those videos. But if you want to see a new updated version of that, I feel like all of these outfits would definitely really help. So this is what the top looks like. It's kind of like off the shoulders. It's got that same cut out and I'm just so happy that AliExpress has made a remake of this. Okay, so this is what the top looks like on. I just paired it with some plain jeans because I didn't actually have any similar trousers to what Kylie was wearing in the photo. I absolutely love the style and the cutouts and everything about this top. It's really comfortable to wear and the fabric is not see-through whatsoever. The only thing I would say is that this panel right here is a little bit like narrow. So when I'm wearing a bra underneath it, you can kind of like see it peeking out because it's a lot thicker than the actual top itself. So again, with this one, if you were to wear it, you'd probably just want like some sticky cups or nipple covers of some kind. But it's not the end of the world. I can totally work around it. But this top is so cute. I don't know what the designer is, the original one, but whoever made this is a genius. I think this bodysuit is super flattering and with a different pair of trousers, I think it would make such a cute outfit. So I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. And now the very last outfit outfit remake we have is here. This is the original photo of Kylie wearing this really nice patterned kind of full jumpsuit. I'm still not too sure who the original designer of this like pattern is, but I've seen her wear stuff like this quite a lot. I have actually purchased something like that in the past from AliExpress for one of my videos where I actually recreated Kylie Jenner's and Stasi's photos with my friend Jazz. Again, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the eye. It was so much fun to film and she was wearing a very similar outfit in that. So here is the replica of this specific black and white pattern 
patent outfit. This cost around 16 pounds, which I feel like isn't that bad if it fits nicely. It doesn't look like it will be see-through because I mean, the pattern is so busy anyway. I feel like you're not really gonna see much. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just a full-on long sleeve, long leg bodysuit. I genuinely can't picture myself wearing something like this just to a supermarket to do my shopping. I just do not lead that kind of interesting lifestyle to be able to wear things like this out. But I mean, it's a very cool outfit. I'm willing to give it a go. So let's pop it on and see how this one looks. Okay, this is something else, okay? Also, I didn't realize, but this actually has like little finger holes so you can do this. How freaking cool is this? I mean, don't get me wrong I would never ever wear this out because it's just so much when you're a billionaire and you're famous like Kylie I feel like you can get away with wearing anything but for someone like me who's just a regular person living a regular life I feel like this is a bit overkill. Although I do have to say it fits like an absolute glove. I don't know how they did this, but like, look at this. This fits well, like really well. Do I need to like start wearing bodysuits now to the supermarket to do my everyday shopping? I'm in two minds about it because I genuinely feel like we should all wear things like this. Like this should just be normal. Now on a scale of one to 10, I feel like this also deserves a 10. I don't know what it is, but this video has just been a complete success. Usually when I do these videos, there's like one or two items that are just terrible, but there's nothing like that in this video so far. So I'm gonna give this a 10. I feel like it's exactly like the original and you cannot tell me this isn't the outfit that Kylie wore. If you guys want me to wear stuff like this out and actually do a video where I dress and turn into Kylie Jenner for a week, give this video a big thumbs up. If this video gets to 10,000 likes, I'm gonna do it and I'm literally gonna wear this out into my local supermarket. Okay guys, so that was everything for today's remakes video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing these outfits and what they actually look like versus the original. I always have so much fun playing dress up and filming these videos for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, definitely let me know in the comments what you wanna see next and let me know if you want another updated I turned into Kylie Jenner video. I think out of all of the outfits in this video, I think my favorite one is either the neutral Kylie Jenner top or the white dress that Madison Beer wore. Like I said, I've just been eyeing up that dress for so long and to finally have like basically that dress is so cool. Let me know in the comments below which one of these replicas or remakes was it your favorite. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video as always. Thank you so much for all of your continued support. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you guys are all well and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.